Sin is described in the Bible as a transgression of the law of God. If God says, don't put your hand in the cookie jar, and you put your hand in the cookie jar, that's a sin. And unfortunately, everyone in their life at least once has sinned against God. There are a different number of sins, and many believe that all sin is equal in God's eye, no matter how big or how small. But is this really true? If you ever try to judge righteously like the Bible says to do in John 7 and 24, then sometimes you find yourself in a situation where someone says to you, all sin is equal. Lying is the same as being homosexual. Sin is sin, so you can't tell me not to sin, and you sin too. And you don't know what to say after that. You find yourself in a corner with no response because you have been told that all sin is the same in God's eyes. Jesus said that if you look at a woman and lust after her, you have already committed adultery in your heart. And if you hate your brother, then you are a murderer. But what Jesus, nor God, nor any other person that was in or that wrote the Bible did not say is that all sin is equal. You will not find any scripture out of the thousands that are in the Bible that say all sin is equal. That's not biblical. People have misinterpreted what Jesus said. Some sins are greater than others. It is one thing to steal a hat but it's a different thing to kidnap someone. Getting angry with someone is completely different from getting angry and killing them. It's one thing to cheat on a test, but to cheat on your wife or husband and have an affair with someone else is a different story. And if you're not married and sleeping around, that's fornication. And despite what everyone's favorite prosperity pimp TD Fake says, getting in an argument with a bank teller is not the same as being homosexual. This lets us know that some sins are ranked higher in God's eyes. Some sins lead to death, some don't. 1 John 5 and 17 All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. And God even says that some are an abomination to him. Over 15 to be exact. That word abomination should not be overlooked. It changes the entire tone of a statement and lets you know that there is a clear difference between certain sins. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So as you can see, when it comes to your body, in particular the temple of God, God don't play. He is very serious when it comes to how you treat your temple. When Jesus spoke of his second coming in judgment, he warned that among the deserving punishments, some would be beaten with many blows and others with few blows. Luke 12, 47 to 48. And the servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall only be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him much is required. So if the sign says, don't put your hand in a cookie jar, and you put your hand in the cookie jar, then there is no excuse on judgment day. And because of the same way, you wouldn't let any convicted murderer or rapist go free from prison. God can't let evildoers go free. Even though all sins are not the same, all sins will take you to hell, no doubt about it. Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. It does not matter if you steal once, lie once, or have unrighteous anger once. God has to judge you because he is holy and he is a good judge. God has to judge you by sending you to hell for eternity to pay for your sins. But the good news is, Jesus paid the penalty for our sins and the sins of the whole world on the cross. He paid it off already. And if we will repent and turn to Jesus in faith, our sins will be forgiven. Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So in conclusion, all sin is equal is not biblical, nor is it true. Even though all sins are not the same, they will all take you to the same place, 666 Boulevard, Lake of Fire Avenue. But if you truly are born again, 
and believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and you act like it because anyone can say that they love God but they don't show it. Titus 1 and 16, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable, there their word is again, and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. So if you talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits, meaning you can tell who they are by what they do. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extorters shall inherit the kingdom of God. And now knowing the truth, if you still decide to disobey God and just pick what scriptures you want to do and make a spiritual whopper to have it your way, your punishment will be even worse because you knew what the sign said, but you chose to ignore it anyway. I pray that you learned something from this video. If you did, share this information. Iron sharpens iron. Now that you know the truth, tell someone else. God said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So spread the knowledge. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, we're too blessed to be stressed. Stay blessed by the best. Don't forget to pray for the rest, and until next time.